Hey everybody, so today we're going to install Azure DevOps Server Express on our local machine. It's very similar to Azure DevOps in the cloud and it allows you to work locally and it's also really good to evaluate if Azure DevOps is going to work for you and your team. So let's start. All you need to do is Google for Azure DevOps Server Express and you should get to this download page on Microsoft Learn. And if you just read the page, you'll see that there's a download link for the Server Express version. I just downloaded the EXE, which you'll see on the right. And there's also a bit of text explaining how it's for evaluation or personal use. There's a licensing agreement for up to five active users. So I'm just gonna run the installer and I just accept the default really here. It asks for administrator permission. And this takes a while, so I'm just gonna to skip to where it ends. And once it finishes, uh, you have to restart your computer. Once you restart, you get this configuration center and there's a pretty self-explanatory wizard. So I'm not gonna explain all the steps. I'm gonna go quite fast. I like to use the advanced deployment uh, option so you can customize some things. But again, I generally go with almost all the, the basic options. And if it goes too quick, don't worry. Uh, most of it's self-explanatory. All right, so now on this step, you'll see on the search, there's a there's an issue, and that's because the username's incorrect. Uh, I missed that, so you see it's, it's red. You can't have dashes in the username, so just update that. And uh, if you get any other errors, it'll, it'll show up in this verify step, basically. So if you eventually go next, it verifies everything. And you see here, there's a problem with the database that I'm using. Um, so I'm just gonna install SQL Server Express, which does support full text search. Um, I'm not sure why the developer edition doesn't have it by default. I think this is just the easiest way uh, to, to do it. It also requires administrator access. So I eventually just let that run, it takes quite a while and go back to database to change the instance name to SQL Express and review it and it should now all work. Okay, so now that we verify, we have to refresh the readiness checks and once it's all green, we can actually start the install. All right, so we configure it. This takes a while, so I'll also skip this. And eventually once it's finished, it'll give a page where you can, uh, or you click next, and then you from here you can see, you can access your server on that URL. You can change that later, but for now we're just going with the default. It does take a while to open the screen, but you can see in the background that we can close the configuration center. And now the admin console opens up and you can do you know, some administration settings. If you wanna change a public edge, uh, public URL, use HTTPS, change your SSH settings. You can do all of that from here. Um, you can see what projects they are. They are none created yet. And you can see here the status is busy creating the collection. Once it's finished, we can then create our projects in the background. So you enter your project name, a description, and from the advanced settings, you can choose which version control, just use Git, and which work item process you'd like to use. Basic is fine for now. Uh, we're not too worried about that. Um, but you can, yeah, you can play around with it all you want later. You can see now the reflections are shown in the admin console. And now we have a working DevOps server ready to play with.